Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install Android version nine in VirtualBox on a Windows 10 PC. So let's get started. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, hit the alert notification. Okay, so from our desktop, we're gonna go over to our web browser. We're using Google Chrome and we'll just open that up and we're gonna head over to the website androidx86.org and here we go and let me just maximize it and what we're going to do is we're going to look for the newest version the newest release candidate which is release candidate 9 uh, listed here a little bit um, higher up here we go android version 9 release candidate 2 we'll click on that and we'll get a chance to download it from a couple sources here uh, foss hub let me just close this out of the way and the open source developer network i like clicking from here so this is a trusted site so we'll go here and um, scroll down and we want to download the ISO image because that's what we're going to be using for VirtualBox. So we have this right here, which is the release candidate 2 ISO. So we can just click on that and it's going to download. So don't worry about remembering all the URLs. I'm going to have them listed in the description below. So it's uh, almost a gig, 921 megs. Uh, we'll let that download and we'll just jump over to the end here and it's downloaded into our downloads folder. So you're gonna have to know where you downloaded this file because you're gonna have to locate it once we're inside VirtualBox. So we have it here in our downloads folder, easy to find. We'll just minimize it for now. And now what we're gonna do is open up VirtualBox. Okay, so here we have VirtualBox opened. Uh, the last one I installed was Elementary OS. It's still here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new VirtualBox. We'll click on the new button. And in the name here, we're just going to type in Android 9. And the machine folder, we're going to leave it as is. That's default. And then we're going to go down to type. Inside type, we want to select Linux. And then the version, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and other Linux 64-bit. That's what we want to select. Click on next. And for RAM, we're gonna increase the RAM. We need at least two gigs for Android. Uh, we're gonna get up to about four gigs just to be on the safe side. It really depends on the type of applications you're gonna be running on it. So we just wanna make sure we have enough RAM. There we go. And then we can click on next. Hard disk space, we're gonna leave it, uh, create a virtual disk, which is default, click on create. And the disk file type, we're gonna leave it as VDI and dynamically allocated, we'll leave that as default as well. And for the path that we're gonna be doing the file size, um, we're gonna leave that as is, and we're gonna put in 10 gigs here, uh, just in case you have uh, extra apps that you wanna install, wanna make sure you give yourself enough space. So here we go, it's been created. We're not done yet, we have to do some modifications here. So we'll click on settings. And inside settings, we're gonna go over to system. So we'll click on system, and then go over to processors. Now there's only one provided. I recommend doing at least two, and you can go as high in our PC right now up to four, but two is your safest bet. Uh, we'll leave that as is. And then we're gonna go over to acceleration. If we go down to the drop down menu here, we wanna make sure that we select KVM because that's the interface that we're gonna be using. Next on the left hand side, we're gonna go over to display. And we wanna max out the video memory that's available. So we wanna make sure that we're giving it all the video memory that's available. In this case, it's 128 megs. And for the graphics controller, we wanna select VBOX SVGA. And over here in storage, which is next, we wanna insert the ISO image. So we're gonna click on the little CD image, choose a disk file, and then we're gonna navigate our way into the downloads folder, select the image, and then click on open and here we go. So you see it loaded up here. That is the ISO file that we wanted to boot off of and we're done. So we can go in back to our main window and now we can start the virtual box. So we're gonna start this virtual machine for Android version nine and it's gonna pop up here in just a second. Okay, so we had a different ISO in here before. Wanna make sure that we're launching off the correct one. So if you go to the drop down menu here on the right hand side, you have a little arrow and here we go, Android version nine, release candidate two, that is the correct one. We can click on start and it's gonna now boot off of that ISO. So it is important you click the right one. So in here, we're gonna use the cursor keys and go down to advanced options, hit enter. 
And we're gonna do the auto installation, which is the fourth option, hit enter. And then it's gonna ask us if we wanna confirm and continue, hit yes. Again, you can use your cursor keys on your keyboard. And what it's gonna do right now is extract and install all the files that are required for the Android version nine. Okay, so now it's completed. And what we get to do is automatically run or reboot. We can hit uh, enter or okay to begin the installation here. And we're gonna get an installation wizard that's very uh, familiar to people who have used Android devices before. So we're just gonna speed this up a bit. The initial startup might take a few minutes on your end, depending on the speed of your PC. So here we go. We have the beginning of the startup wizard and we can click on start and we'll begin the installation here. So it's gonna to try to connect to Wi-Fi. We're in a virtual machine, we're hardwired, so we don't actually need to connect to any Wi-Fi services here. So we're gonna click on skip and it's gonna ask, are you sure? And we're sure, so we're gonna continue. Okay, so uh, you gotta, so here we're gonna put in your date and time. Everything is default for me, so I'm gonna click on next. And for the location services and other scannings, uh, we can just leave it selected. It's up to you whether you wanna accept these. And uh, in this case, for it to work properly, we're gonna leave everything selected and click on accept. And protect your app tablet. You can enter in a pin number or a password if you want. We don't wanna do that right now. So we're gonna skip this part and we'll just click on not now. Now you can either use your mouse or you can use your cursor keys again to select the options here. Uh, we'll just click not now and continue. And just wants to verify, we can skip anyway. And so here we wanna know, it wants to know how you wanna launch. We're gonna use quick step. Uh, you have the option to use taskbar if you want. Quick step is the easiest and straightforward. It's very familiar to most people. We'll select always and it's gonna boot up. So here we go. We have Android booted up and this is the home window. It's familiar to most people and uh, we have it installed. Now, if you wanna begin installing apps, you can go to the Play Store, but uh, right from the get-go, if you just swipe up. So you can swipe up using your mouse by dragging it up and you have access to all the default apps that are already installed, uh, which is also including the Play Store. So if you want to install any new applications, you can go ahead as you normally would with the Play Store by signing into it and installing Android apps onto your VirtualBox. So this is how you install Android 9 on VirtualBox using Windows 10 PC. If you have any questions, please go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them as best as possible, as well as if you have any suggestions on other things that you'd like to be done with VirtualBox or VMware, please put them in there. We'll try to address them and get the new videos up and running. If you enjoy our videos, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.